So two questions. How is the Trials of Osiris going to change in Destiny 2? And what about the eSports side of the game? Stick around to find out what the lead designer of Destiny 2's Crucible had to say about both the issues. Hey what is up everyone it's Hawk here with another Destiny 2 news flash. In this video I'm talking about the changes that are coming to the Trials of Osiris and what Bungie has planned for the esports side of this game. Before I start guys please smash this like button and subscribe if you want to find out all the latest news happening before the release of Destiny 2. Right so let's get into this. Lars Bakken is the lead crucible designer in Bungie's Destiny 2. So he has been answering questions to different news outlets and some of the questions he's been answering is to do with the Trials of Osiris and the changes that have been brought into it. As we know Trials of Osiris was a very popular mode of game in Destiny 1 and a huge part of the community loved playing it. So what are the changes coming into Destiny 2? Right, so first of all, the biggest change that he told us about was the fact that it is not 3v3 anymore, it is now 4v4. Okay, so that in itself is huge news. We are so used to playing 3v3, gone. So now it's 4v4. Okay, now according to my sources, another one of the big changes that is coming in to Destiny 2's Trials of Osiris is the revive system that we saw in the Destiny 2 beta. Gone are the days that you could just revive your player as soon as they die. Now you can only revive once per round or you can let it stack up. Now this changes the whole dynamics of the Trials gameplay. Okay, do you revive your player as they die or do you st let it stack up for the later rounds when it's match point? But what if you don't reach that round? Okay, what if you lose before you get to match point? So now it's a whole different way of playing this game. It has to be more tactical. You have to think before you do anything. Gone are the days where you're gonna rush in, in, all guns blazing. If you die, somebody's gonna revive you. It's not like that anymore. It is more uh, slow. It's gonna be more slow paced. It's going to be more thinking. It's gonna be more tactical. Okay, so we're not going to have all these squeakers go, going flawless 10 times a day. These days are gone now. Okay, so I think in that, in my opinion, that is a brilliant thing. Secondly, Lars Bakken was asked about the esports side of the game. Okay, despite the popularity of the Crucible PvP mode, it doesn't look like we'll be getting a Destiny 2 World Championship anytime soon. Now that is terrible, heartbreaking news, guys. Okay, what he did say was, uh, it's something that we talk about a lot, okay, if they, bracket, the players decided Destiny is a space that they want to love and prop up in that way, then it's something that we think we are interested in. But it's not something that will be there from the beginning, okay, so that is really sad news. Further goes on. Right, as we know, Destiny community has shown time and again there is a want for a competitive scene, but there's one huge problem standing in the way of Destiny 2 esports getting started, and that is that the game will not launch with private lobbies. Okay, it took two years after the launch of the original Destiny for the game to add private lobbies. Before that, players had to, uh, in order to play against each other, they had to try and match gameplay up by logging in at the same time. Now, can you imagine doing that with millions of players? That is the way it looks like it's heading for now, okay? However, it's not a complete note. They have said that if there is a demand for it, maybe they will start up an eSports scene, okay? So he further on goes on to say, yes, we want to make the game feel more comfortable in tournament setting. That was one of our goals. But that doesn't mean that we go straight to like world championships. I wish I could give you a definitive answer more than that. But I think the reality is we want people to feel comfortable there first. And if it's something they want, we have the ability to support it, then we'd love to support it. 
Okay, so as you know, in the end of June, some members of Destiny's Twitch community hosted what was called Guardian Con, a meeting of the game's content creating personality YouTubers and their fans. The event raised over a million dollars for charity and it culminated in a two day event where the highlight was a four and four tournament of some of the game's top players. Right, they had shoutcasters, sponsors, and excited crowd. The winners received a championship belt and a donation to the charity in their name. Okay, but it was clear that there was a huge interest for it. But unfortunately, Bungie is not going in that direction, which is heartbreaking news for everyone. Okay, so that is it, guys. This is the end of the video. I know it's a sad way to end, but it is what it is. So please put a like subscribe to this channel if you want more news as and when it becomes available and i will see you in the next one take care